Try this. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys one key strategy that I use for trading. Um, this is a strategy that I kind of like look at the stocks that are good. Something is going to happen to them, and then I go in and create a watch list to trade these stocks. So uh, it's a strategy that I've been using to make a lot of money in the market. So I wanted to share that with you guys. But before we get started, uh, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, the strategy I want to share with you guys uh, uh, when it comes to uh, investing or when it comes to trading is using what it called the earnings report. So if you've heard about earnings report for companies, this is where companies give out uh, sort of like a, a state of the union of the company every quarter. So our first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, companies will come out and give that sort of a state of a union. And based on what those companies, the information those companies provide, you would see the, the stock of that company would either really get pumped up or you see it get beat down. So um, a lot of companies usually come out and give information and and us uh, traders were sitting there waiting for that information to determine how we want to do it. And some people might even sell and get out of certain positions for certain companies and then wait to buy the bottom if they, they anticipate that the earnings reports are really going to suck. And then, um, and, and so that is a, a strategy that I've been using a lot. And if you guys have been following like some of the posts that I, I have either on YouTube post or uh, on my Facebook group, if you're not part of that Facebook group, uh, there's a link in the description. You can join it. I post this earnings report there every every week before uh, the week starts. So I put them like uh, Sunday evening. I'll just put them in that in that group so people can go check the companies out and see which one works for them. So basically, um, for me, I do print out the earnings report. Uh, so I have some like a sheet like this, and I'm also I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can actually see. So I print out this sheet, and so here's the strategy that I use. Once I print out the sheet, um, here uh, just in case you want to know where I get this uh, this one from if you go to the website called earnings whispers um, they provide you a holistic list of all the companies that have their earnings that particular week so you can go to have a calendar you can click on the calendar pick a specific date it will show you all the earnings for that day and it'll show you what you call pre-market earnings and after hours earnings so you can decide which ones you want to trade so I take the list let's say on Monday I'll create um, I'll create a, a watch list in my Weibo account because that's what I use for for trading. I'll create a watch list and I will look at the companies and I'll go in and do detailed analysis of the companies. If I see that this is a company that is really get, getting impacted by COVID in a negative way, it's impacting sales or impacting their business, then I will probably move that company and put it under my list of shuttables in, in my watch list of shuttables. And then if it's a company that is thriving, let's say like Zoom and all these other uh, Peloton, like these companies that are uh, what I call COVID companies that are benefiting from the COVID, then I'll put them on the long, which means that their earnings report will probably come out on the positive side. So a good example I give you guys is like Pinterest. When Pinterest had their earnings report, the stock gapped almost $30 a share. Um, so you think, I mean, like it went from 40 something bucks to almost 60 something bucks, which is ridiculous. So if you uh, had done your homework, you'd have anticipated that Pinterest earnings report was coming out and you know for sure that Pinterest is benefiting tremendously from COVID because a lot of people are starting businesses. People are posting and doing that stuff and running ads on Pinterest. So they're making good money. So their earnings came out and it was fantastic. And they, I mean, and the stock just like went up. And then you take other companies that are not doing so hot. When their earnings come out, the stock would tank. Uh, one exception that I've seen, like even this past um, last month or so, when Tesla had their earnings report, the earnings report the numbers were just fabulous i mean like every the dream of a company the numbers were just so good but yet tesla took a beating i i, I still don't know how to explain that uh, and it always happens with tesla so that's a company that you can short in that case you short it and, and make money so um 
when I see a company that I know for sure that are gonna get impacted, that sales are gonna be really down, then that's I can even I can even short that up front. Or if I see that as a COVID company, their sales are gonna be really good because they're benefiting from people staying at home, then I think that it, it, it's gonna gap once the earnings report comes out. What I would do is I can buy uh, some position in that particular uh, uh, company and hold it um, into their earnings. Uh, but it's usually a risky business because sometimes when you're Earnings come out, you will see the stock will gap down and then before like shoot up. In others, the earnings will come, it will shoot up and then start gapping down. So you have to be really smart to be there to look the directions. And if you bought in and the gaps go up, you take profit and then you can reverse the trade and sell again up there and actually follow it down and make money in both directions. So that is a strategy that I, I want to share with you guys and see uh, if that's something that you people are using. Again, um, the website that I use to get a list of all the companies that have their earnings every week is called earnings uh, whispers I'm gonna put that uh, descript that uh, in the description so go we'll check out the company it's free it's not you don't need to subscribe to get it you should just go to or you can follow me either here on YouTube and check out my post or you can actually join our Facebook group um, I'm gonna start posting them on my Instagram account as well so I mean it's information I want you guys to benefit from so I'm gonna put it out there and, and just uh, see if it helps anybody again let me know in the comment section have you traded using earnings report if yes what's your experience uh, don't hesitate to share that in the comment section and also if you're looking to get started with investing like I mentioned I do use the Weibo platform for my day trading and right now Weibo is doing a promotion where they're giving out four free stocks not one not two not three four free stocks if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars and also if you just want to like test and see what what it's like to day trade it's an excellent platform they have uh, what you call paper trading feature where you can go in there they give you fake money to trade and you can test it really during market hours and test and see how uh, trading actually works and that is a really good way for you to get comfortable before you jump into the ocean with the shacks and as always guys remember always do your homework and don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated